on January 13th, we've got a very important election taking place in Taiwan. And there are people in the United States who are going to say that they will encourage uh, Taiwan to press for independence, uh, which we know is would be a trigger for China to try to resolve the situation militarily. So that's that's really fraught. That's a very, very dangerous situation. Uh, as my colleagues are saying, the South China Sea is also very, very dangerous. And the U.S. has an election coming up. It looks like, even though nobody wants it this way, it's going to be Biden versus Trump when it comes to China. Trump was even worse. And the people <laughs> Trump surrounded himself with are super hawks. Uh, and they wanted a trade war. And they wanted military co uh, confrontation in many cases. Uh, and the Biden people, you know, Biden's got 18 top advisors from the Center for New American Security. These are China hawks. Uh, and, and so, but that would be better in terms of the possibility of peace. Biden has tried to walk a fine line between confrontation and showing how tough he is and wanting peaceful relations. Uh, but uh, he's getting attacked from the right within his own party and within the Republican Party. At the same time, the U.S. is trying to deal with crisis in Gaza and crisis in Ukraine uh, and uh, building up America's military budget, $886 billion uh, officially and actually much more than that. And so it's going to be a challenge. It's not going to be easy this year to improve relations, especially given the U.S. election in, in uh, November.